I do enjoy a bit of side boob every now and then. Hello, I'm Amanda Holden and this is my fabulous five minutes with Fabulous Magazine. She's our favourite Britain's Got Talent judge. Shh, don't tell Simon. Here, the brilliant Amanda Holden joins Fabulous to chat all things beauty, fashion, career, love and parenting. Beauty hacks that's bizarre. I don't know if I swear by this, but if I ever uh, chip a nail, I go up to a brick wall and I use the cement to file it. <laughs> it works. Top three skincare I couldn't live without, I think, would be my Revolution Pro Wonder Plump Duo Cream, which is amazing. One side is for your neck and chest, the other side is for your face. Absolutely perfect. Um, I love my Eve Lom cleanser, with I do it with a, a hot cloth. And, oh gosh, a third one. I, I just think a glass of wine every now and then plumps the skin. Drink it though, don't rub it on your face. To us, she's a style icon, but not everyone is a fan of Amanda's daring dresses. She previously revealed that some of her outfits have been so controversial that the staff on BGT now check her looks before she steps on stage. There's now a whole body of people that knock on my door and come and stare at my chest before we go on air, she explained. One of Amanda's most complained about BGT outfits was the plunging sheer black Julian MacDonald gown worth £11,250, which attracted 633 calls to Ofcom, making it the most complained about TV moment of that year. People are going nuts <laughs> on Twitter, Amanda, That's about your outfit. Awesome. 7 out of 12, stand up, look 12. Throughout the years, I've made a few fashion statements but I'm gonna stand by my choices because there was a time and a place, darling. I mean, I think any sort of choices I make seems to get quite a lot of comments. <laughs> but I, I, I love fashion. I'll wear whatever I want to wear. Um, I like classic pieces. I like pieces that I know can stay in my wardrobe for quite a number of years. So I like value for money. Um, and I do enjoy a bit of side boob every now and then. So a fashion that I'm quite enjoying at the moment is the fact that I think cardigans are back little short ones so i think a nice cardi with a t-shirt and like a three-quarter length trouser with a handbag across here is quite a good slony look uh, a look that i think should be banned and should never ever come back is something i noticed constantly at my daughter's school she's 18 and all the boys have got these stupid mullet haircuts and they are so pretty these boys and their hair is just horrific i think there are no tips for feeling fabulous and confident. I think it's something that grows with you. I think you have to learn not to care about people's opinions. You have to see yourself for who you are, believe in what you're doing and what you're wearing, uh, and, and just know that you're the best and you need to portray the best regardless of what everyone else thinks. Amanda has been married to Chris Hughes for 15 years and the pair have two gorgeous girls. She gives us advice on long lasting love and reveals the parenting hacks she swears by. The secret behind a successful marriage is to have bloody good sense of humour. Just last week we met up, had a bit of lunch, took the dog for a walk, we banned talking about work. It's that kind of thing to be honest, you need to sort of invest in each other and remember what it's like before you had children or before you had too much pressure on you, just take those moments and uh, make a good date, have a good date night to be honest. Perfect date night for me and Chris is a really lovely dinner and maybe a movie or, I mean, I love watching telly. I hate people that say they don't. So we love looking forward to something on Netflix or Amazon Prime. To be honest, I'm not very good at time management. I try and get to the school run every single day. And if not, my husband will do it. Uh, I try and always sit down and have dinner around a table because that's what my mum used to do. But I probably should stop working so hard because it, it, I literally feel every second of the day. Parenting hacks. I always say to my children, oh yeah, you can do that at the weekend. Yeah, we'll do it at the weekend. And then like, there's a lot to do at the weekend. Looking back at her career, Amanda has had some very memorable moments. From being sword in half to chucking her water over other judges, Amanda has definitely proved herself as a great judge. Gosh, I mean, there's so many memorable moments from Britain's Got Talent. I think the, my favourite ones are when the four of us always have dinner together uh, and just chew over the acts and what we've been doing in the evenings or in the week. And also when the children come down, the children come down a lot between scenes and all play together and we all have dinner together. And it feels like one big happy family. Amanda is always busy with work. 
juggling TV, family life and her new upcoming projects, there really is no holding back for her. Uh, well, we've got another series of Britain's Got Talent coming up. I've just done a second series of The Italian Job with Alan Carr. Uh, I've got my Lipsy range, which is obviously what I'm wearing and talking mostly about today. Um, I have a Christmas commercial coming out, which is super exciting. Um, yeah, and then I'm just going to lie down for a bit. <laughs>